thanks, Phil Caporal. Um, I'm a solutions engineer here at Shogun. So I'm planning to give you a product tour of the platform, give you an idea of what it's like to work on it from a content author's perspective, someone that doesn't is not technical, doesn't know how to code, and then also talk a little bit about what to expect from your uh, development team uh, as far as maintaining the site on our platform. So <clears throat> uh, talking about Nomad Goods again, they, they are live on Shogun front end today. Uh, they were our first customer. And taking a look at their site, um, they've got a very uh, gorgeous design, uh, very intentional, heavy in imagery and animations. And it's really tough to describe the performance benefits through a webinar. So um, I'm going to ask people in the audience, feel free to open this up in your phones, turn off your Wi-Fi connection so you're on a slower data connection and go to nomadgoods.com and just start to click through the site. And you'll see as you start clicking through, every page loads almost instantly. Um, and that's because of the way we deliver the progressive web application on the back end that Jonas just described. Now, this might be different from a traditional store where what you might be expecting with your sites is uh, when a customer hits a page, there's a round trip back to the Shopify, and there might be a database lookup, an external API call uh, to a plugin. And then all of that time adds to the time of returning that data back to the customer. And so what um, uh, Shogun provides is basically we cut that round trip out of the equation and we're delivering the content statically. And so that's why we're getting all of this uh, served up so fast. And you can see on this product page with this brown leather case, all of the images and copy are tailored to this variant. And so as a content author, I have full control over putting together these blocks uh, without having to write any code. And you can see I switch over to the natural color. And you see how fast that transitioned over. And this is actually a different SKU now. And it, uh, all of the copy and content is now tailored to this other variant. And so it's, it's really kind of a slick way for you to launch your products a lot faster once you have your uh, components in place. Uh, you don't have to wait for a two-week sprint cycle with your development team to implement these changes and push them out. Um, you, you can now uh, manage that uh, release cycle yourself. So the other benefit of being on a headless platform versus like a templated experience is the ability to have creative control to um, add new features to your site. And so Nomad, um, after they launched, opened up this ability. So they, they have a new product with uh, Apple's AirTags where they can customize the, the product with a metal engraving. So you can customers can have you know, whatever personalized text they want to appear in that AirTag. And so you can kind of think that this uh, similar to how you want to differentiate your brand. If you were to walk into a Best Buy, you're going to be like any other customer, pick up product off the shelf and go check out. Where at the Apple store, you're you're really immersed into that experience. Someone's someone's acknowledged you, added you to a queue, and really personalizing the service to you. And so this is one example of that. So here you can see here a little window pops up, and uh, my dog Molly actually does love Shogun, so I can add something here for Molly. Um, I think she'll like that. And you can see it gives me a preview of what this product is going to look like. And so I feel more immersed in this shopping experience and kind of understand what Nomad's brand is trying to communicate to me. If you were to do this today, um, you might have to ask uh, your developer to uh, uh, look into this. They'll take like maybe half a day to reverse engineer your theme try to figure out number one, where in the theme can we make this customization if you even can, and then find the right liquid file and, and, and learn liquid on top of that, right? Um, or you might shop for a third party app um, and you might find something that does something similar, but it might not look exactly the way you want. But um, because, but that app is now optimized for performance for that plugin framework. And so you're adding additional time to the page request and that's where you can kind of start to get into that hole of your store performance uh, gradually degrading. Where with Shogun Frontend, you're being really intentional about all your integrations. Your development team knows exactly how to implement it and take it out and uh, really, really have that focus on performance. All right, um, let's take a look at another site. Zionist.com is also a client that launched fairly recently. Um, and so with this example, I'm going to walk through what it's like to build out components on a page. So with the assumption that these 
these blocks and components are already built by a React developer. So if we take a look at this homepage, we've got a banner component with a, a hero image and some copy on the left to describe a promo, and then uh, a link that will go to the product detail page of that uh, uh, product. Also, uh, we have some uh, room cards here. So with Zionist, they have uh, categories like mattress, bed frames, and sofas. When you click on them, they'll go to a landing page, which is driven by a Shopify collection of, of all those products. So we'll go through this example of building out those two components and adding them to a page. All right, so let's dive in. <laughs> so what you're seeing here is the Shogun Experience Manager. So this is what your content authors, uh, this is where they're gonna live as far as managing their content and publishing uh, product releases. Now on the left-hand side, we have a true-to-view preview of what the page will look like. So as I start to add elements to the page, you'll start to see this come to life on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you see these blocks. Now, these building blocks are, represent React components that your uh, your uh, development team has built ahead of time. And so once, once these blocks are available, uh, you can kind of drag them around and add them to the page and start to make the page come to life. <clears throat> now, with this new page, you see I've inherited a couple of components already. I've already got a header and a footer. And so uh, that's the concept that we call frames. And so uh, this is important because it might be important for you to toggle different styles throughout the year. You might run different campaigns based on the holiday. So you can swap out, swap out your header with a different header and then kind of tailor the style uh, based on that. And you can easily toggle with them just by switching out the frame. And so you don't have to, again, tap a developer to make that change and then wait for them to implement it. This is something that your marketing team can control uh, directly. So let's go ahead and add the hero banner component that I showed earlier. And you can see it adds a placeholder. And so uh, we've got a couple, little bit of things to do in order for the content to come to life. If we click into the block, you can see we have some options here. And so each of these uh, blocks here are called section variables. And these are things that you work with your React developers to enable. And there's different types of section variables you can uh, surface up. And so with images, you, it'll render out an upload control. So you can go ahead and add uh, an image here to this component. And you'll see in a second, it'll uh, reflect on the left-hand side. And to promote good accessibility standards uh, with any kind of image asset, you're, uh, the marketer or content author always has the ability to update the alt text. Uh, so this is also really good for accessibility and uh, uh, SEO optimization. So I'm just going to put here a mattress there. And then another common section variable you'll be dealing with is rich text uh, boxes. So go ahead and add some copy here. And you can see it automatically appears on the left-hand side. And some powerful things uh, you can do here is um, you can have really a really consistent style guide. And so you can manage all your H1 tags, uh, have all my heading ones, you can have consistent color and font size. Um, and then also I can do the same with uh, heading twos as well. You can see this component is starting to take shape. Um, I know we need a button, so we need some call to action text here. So I can type in shop now. And now we're at the point where we want to make that button clickable. And there's a couple of things we could do. We could add another text box and paste in a URL. That's one way. Um, the other benefit with Shogun front end is we automatically integrate with the back end commerce platform. And today we support Shopify and BigCommerce. So um, I can connect that button to a specific product, in this case, the olive oil memory mattress. And so I'm going to go ahead and search for that product. And I see it here. And once I select it, now that product's attributes are now bound to that component. And so it knows about its price, name, description, meta fields, uh, its product detail page URL. And so if I hover over that now, you can see on the bottom left, the href is now set. And so you can kind of see there's a lot of creative things that you can do with this with your product detail pages and kind of all types of different types of components you can think of. Um, <clears throat> something uh, to note here, if you were to do this today, if you were kind of wanting to attempt to build this yourself, that integration that I just showed you uh, with linking to Shopify requires building out um, that middleware layer that Jonas talked about earlier, uh, connecting to the Shopify APIs. You also have to write code to optimize the data um, 
for your headless platform. And so it's it's quite a bit of work to do all that. And with Shogun front end, all of that is uh, all that middleware is for free. <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead and add one more component, those uh, room cards. And so um, not only do you have access to all of your Shopify data, you can create custom CMS objects uh, as well. And so this is helpful if you want to have reusable content for like sizing guides or build out blog posts or video pages. In this case, uh, room cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, a couple cards. And these cards are defined in the Shogun CMS. And so there's a couple attributes to them that are important. And these are totally customizable by the merchant. So in this case, uh, they have a thumbnail image, a tile card, and a URL to the landing page it's supposed to go to. And so if I go ahead and add a couple more of these, you can see it's really easy to customize this. You can also drag and drop the order of those tiles. And um, you see it live on the left-hand side of how it's going to look. <clears throat> um, you, to get more creative, you can also allow your uh, content authors to manipulate uh, positioning uh, uh, on, of your components by uh, using toggle switches. And so with this case, if I wanted all of those tiles to be centered, I can choose to do that. Um, and then also this, this is designed to be stacked on top of each other. So you might want to alternate between a dark and a light background as well. Now, um, Jonas uh, in the talk earlier mentioned the importance of speed and conversion rate and uh, getting more revenue from your mobile audience. And so Shogun also provides you a way to preview your content in different viewports. And so you can see what this looks like on a standard laptop and you can see the content automatically starts to shift. If you go down to a tablet, you see elements start to stack on each other. And especially uh, with your mobile audience, um, you can see it gets a really clean kind of stacking of your images and of all your copy. <clears throat> cool. Uh, one way that you might have to do this today, you might have to add an app like Tapcart where you want to have that same similar functionality where you control the mobile experience. But with those, with those solutions, you might have to do double content ma management. You might have to manage the content in Shopify and then also manage a separate piece of content for that mobile experience. Or Shogun front end, you can really work with your React developers to design uh, the one component to do uh, every viewport that you want to target. Awesome. Um, so what does this mean uh, for you? Um, I'm going to wrap up with talking a little bit about the developer experience. Uh, Shogun front end um, is different from page builder experience, where the page builder experience is drag and drop, no code. With Shogun front end, you, you do still need some React talent, uh, but we do make it very easy for your React developers to onboard to our platform. And so what you're seeing today is an example of uh, the base store that we ship to you out of the box. And so you you your developers get all of the code required to build out the store, and it's a fully functioning store. So you get a little sample header, footer, uh, a banner image, and a product grid with a working PDP and a cart. And so this is great because now they have all the React code, best practices of, of, of building out a site with really optimized code, and they don't have to spend time doing the repetitive things that every site has because every site will have a cart, PDP, all of that. And at Shogun, we, we do dedicate a team exclusively on this starter kit. So we've been iterating on it and we've been adding features. So uh, we've, we've been adding uh, components to help uh, accelerate the build of your search experience and also skinning your account pages. So here's an example of an account page that shows some content from my customer profile and my order history. So really you can hit the ground running on our platform and really start to focus on what makes your uh, your brand different and not have to worry about the minutia of like kind of rebuilding all the scaffolding and plumbing uh, that a progressive web app needs. All of that uh, is, is done by uh, Shogun Frontend. 